At first, artists were not worried about AI art because it looked wonky. But as AI progressed, many are getting depressed and losing passion. Many artists are directly being hit by AI art because they're losing freelance clients to AI simply because generating AI images is so quick and cheap. The question lurking in an artist's mind now is, is art even worth learning and making anymore? AI art is destroying the life purpose of many. Here is the controversy with AI art. Job loss. Will AI wipe out the jobs of many artists and designers? Probably yes, because AI is faster and more affordable. Something similar happened a while back in history when cameras emerged. Portrait artists were no longer needed to paint the images of people. Cameras could capture any image with less effort and time. 2. Stealing AI image generators are actually stealing thousands of artworks from the web. AI needs a database in order to generate images, so it stacks the works of real artists into its database. Without permission though, in the AI image generating tools, you can even type in the name of an artist and replicate their style. The robot is taking data from artists and replicating their work. AI can steal any art style there is, taking art styles from actual artists just by adding the name of the artist in the prompt. If another human did this, it would be called plagiarism. AI art is theft on a mass scale. That is why many people are saying AI images are not ethical. We artists were never asked if we consent to feed those apps. The developers and users of AI image generators simply ignored copyrights, and they now profit off the hard work of real human artists. Many people generating images with AI are now selling prints. This is harming real artists. I'm super annoyed at people saying artists are crying over AI. It's normal for anyone to feel threatened. It's normal for AI art to feel threatening to anyone who wants to actually earn money with their art or pursue a career with it. Would a lawyer be happy if he loses money because a robot has replaced him? Would surgeons feel happy if robots replaced them in the workplace and real doctors are no longer needed? Will scientists be happy if suddenly any fool with zero brain and zero experience can replicate the scientist's work with the tap of a button? What if teachers are no longer needed because we have AI teachers? Will humans be happy when they're useless and unneeded? Many artists are now saying AI can be used as a tool alongside our art but I think this will backfire. Because it might seem AI art doesn't look as good right now, the robot is replicating patterns without understanding what they are, and the images still seem lifeless. But as the database collects more information and evolves, it will beat our work, and eventually, many companies will prefer to generate images than to hire real artists and designers. That is why we must fight back. I mean, I got super annoyed at my brother this summer, so he downloaded this AI app and he generated some artwork in a minute, and he said he's a better artist than me now. I got really annoyed because what about all the time and effort and money I put into learning art and studying university at university? AI is going to overshadow real effort now? I also have spotted another bothersome issue. You see how so many artists are disturbed by AI art and want to fight it? And they say they do not want their art stolen? Well, the problem is AI is so massive. We don't know what to fight. Who to fight? Where to fight? What evidence to put forth? It is near impossible to answer these questions. And if we want to fight AI right now, we would have to stop posting any of our artwork online. But then we might lose clients. Many people secure their traffic by uploading their art online, but then AI will snatch. That is why I think it is annoying. It's too vague. It's on a mass scale. It's like a virus. We can't even see it. We don't know where it is. And we don't know how to protect ourselves against it. How dire. But anyways, I'm personally miserable because I see artists are losing the battle against AI, being ignored by developers and users. We are being called crybabies. This is how they shut us up. As an individual who has spent 13 years cultivating creativity and art technique, I'm bothered that literally people who have zero art skill can go put zero effort and with the tap of a button steal art. The art of millions of hardworking artists. This is an ethical issue. On top of this, 
Don't you think it's dumb that non-artists are criticizing artists for being dramatic about being replaced? What in all the oceans? Anyone would be concerned about being replaced. The way I see it, if even art is being automated now, soon after, we humans will have nothing to do. We will be monkeys pressing buttons to get instant gratification. It's already happening. Tap buttons to order food. Tap a button to capture a picture. Tap a button to add filters and suddenly look pretty. Tap a button to suddenly look fit. Tap buttons to calculate. Tap buttons to gratify sexual desire. Tap a button to generate art effortlessly. Tap a button for instant fun. Did you know that YouTubers are now generating YouTube videos using AI? There's a new AI app where you tell it what you want to make a video about and it will script the whole video for you. This is called regression. People are giving up their unique voice, giving up their authenticity, giving up their personality, giving up their talents and potential, giving up their productivity, giving up their brain. I mean, at this point, monkeys are becoming more creative and unique than some humans. So if art doesn't exist, what's left? Thank you, AI. I'm giving up on art and I'll go play Sims now. Okay, but for real now. Here's what you can do for now. On ArtStation, after many rants from artists, ArtStation did not buy, uh, ban AI-generated images but they solved the problem by adding a setting where when you upload an image, when you upload an artwork, AI is not allowed to feed itself with your artwork. So in my opinion, it's better to quit Instagram and those apps where AI can snatch your work and move over to the apps which added a red line. You're going to love my Redbubble art merch. I'm going to leave the link down below so that you can check the art out. If you would prefer to purchase custom art, you could head over to my Fiverr page where you can hire me. This way you are supporting human artists who put real effort. The link is down below. Also, if you enjoy my company, you can buy me a coffee. The link is down below. Don't forget to subscribe to become part of the creative human artistic tribe. Thank you for watching this video. I just wanted to tell you about this fundraiser. If you live in Amman and you're familiar with House of Dreaming, uh, it's gonna close down. The owner is putting the power in our hands. So if you would like to join this fundraiser and keep House of Dreaming open, I'm going to leave the link down below. We just have two weeks.